So this is a very quick Uncle Billy's gear review of uh, the Orvis Pro waders on the left and the Sims G4 Zip on the right. Uh, so I bought uh, these raiders at the beginning of the year to go and fish with Scotty down on the Goulburn. And um, I, I bought them, one of the reasons I bought them is I saw a video, uh, like a YouTuber in New Zealand saying they were the best waders he'd ever had and they'd lasted them for four years and he loved the knee pads and he would never go back to waders without, without knee pads. And um, I was quite uh, smitten by it all. Um, and then I went down to meet up with Scotty and I uh, said to Scotty, oh, I've got the best waders and he sims all over and he said, I don't know what, what you're talking about. Sims waders are, are much better. That said, I've been very happy with both. But um, my big mistake with the Orbis is I didn't realize that waders come in a medium large. So when I went into the shop uh, in Sydney to buy them, uh, they had a medium and they had a large and the medium was too small and the large was was really big on me. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of six foot um, and I weigh about, what, 85 kilograms. The large, I was floating in the large. Didn't realize that there was a medium large. And uh, as a result, whenever I was uh, stepping over things, um, I was finding that the waders were stretching. Um, they were much too tight around the knee area. Um, but otherwise, these waders are fine. Um, I do use these clips over here uh, on the gaiters to clip into my boots. Um, one of the, the, the definite benefits of the Orvis uh, Pros is the foot box. Um, the neoprene foot area is larger. Um, it's much, much uh, tighter um, on, the, on the Sims G4 Zip. Um, so it, I find it much easier to fit a couple of pairs of socks on inside um, this pair of waders uh, um, and still be able to get the waders off uh, still be able to pull them off by the toes um, I did use the knee pads a little bit but I wouldn't buy them just for the knee pads um, the buckle is good but definitely the buckle is superior on the sims um, this back uh, I actually am happy with this back harness um, I, I feel that the sims one is a, is a little bit over engineered to be honest um, this was nice and simple um, I, I never hung my net from this point, so that wasn't relevant for me. Um, and I never really used the, the little extra pouch that comes and clips onto these two uh, dongles. I, I never really used that. And frankly, it, it never really benefited me that I had the kangaroo pouch uh, where, where you can go all the way through. I, and that never really benefited me. I, I never really used that. Um, but still, they, they, are, they are good waders. Um, biggest difference being the... Uh, the, the, the extra area in the in the foot box now the sims the game changer for me with the sims has actually been the zip um, I'm 52 and the zip is a game changer um, and actually I, I don't think I'll go back to a pair of waders that don't have the zip the ease of uh, getting the zip down and, and doing a pee as a male is fantastic um, the material uh, I really love the feel of the material. It's got a, a like a, almost like a felt feel to it. I really, really enjoy the feel of this material when I put it on. Um, and I do find that the fact that the gaiters are made out of neoprene with the clip, they definitely hold down better on my boots. Um, and it, as I said, the, perhaps the one downside is the foot box is smaller than the Orvis. So I pretty well have to wear thinner socks um, in order to be able to easily uh, get off these waders. But that's uh, my Uncle Billy's review of um, two great sets of waders that are currently on the market.